Alright everyone, here we have the Nito BotVac. Now this is the BotVac 70, but here's a little uh, tip for all you guys. There's a 70, 75, 80, there's even a 65 and 85 at some retailers. The trick is, all the Nitos are the exact same. I got the 70 here. The only difference between the Nitos is the color that they put on here and the accessories you get. So with my Nito here, I got the standard brush only, but I upgraded to the combo brush, which is supposed to be better. Haven't run this yet, I just got that. Also, the higher versions come with the upgraded filters, which, again, you can buy online and add into here. I just have the standard filter in for the first run. But that's the only difference, the filters and the brushes. So you can get the lowest model, and then you can... Um, just get the extra add-ons and save yourself some money. So I've never run this before. Brand new. i got to let it charge. In the box we got our um, magnetic strip for closing off areas. And then we got the extra brush because I bought it. I got some extra side brushes and filters as well. So all the BotVacs, like I said, are the same. It's supposed to laser guided uh, scan your rooms and really clean well uh, in a perfect nice grid. So I have a Roomba. We're going to see how this uh, works compared to it. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my house real quick so you can see how this has, has to navigate. So here we got a bedroom. It's going to have to leave this bedroom. And then to the right of my bedroom here, this is another room. It's my pet room. It's got an area to clean in there. This door will stay open. So then we got this hallway. It's got to navigate down this hallway. And as you can see, there's an opening here to my kitchen. And this room is my main room it has to clean. Here's my Roomba. So it has to go around here in my main room. And this connects again to my kitchen, which is dark. So it'll clean my kitchen, hopefully. And then it'll have to go back. So that's the path that it has to navigate. My Roomba, you know, just bounces around everywhere and it gets clean everywhere. Um, you can see these marks in my carpet. If you can see little lines, places are all from my Roomba. So I've been running my Roomba. We're going to go ahead and run this and try to get a recording and speed it up of how it works and how it goes through the house. And then we'll empty the dustbin and see what it picked up because I've been running the Roomba until I got this almost every day. So we'll see how it does. Let's go ahead and see it in action. Alright, so the BotVac is charged up and I have my GoPro over here. It's going to be recording what goes on and I'll move it from room to room and we'll speed up the video so we can see how this works. So let's go ahead and start this up for the very first time. I'm going to go ahead and hit the power button and then I believe I hit it one more time and here we go. Let's go ahead and see what happens.
All right, guys, the Nito has finished the first run, and as you saw from some clips there, did a really nice job, got home really good. We're going to go ahead and empty it out for the first time. And remember, I've been running my Roomba every day, basically, so this didn't have a very dirty floor. It had a pretty much clean floor to work with. I'm going to go ahead and take out this filter. If I can get it off, I assume I just pull on this. Yep. And then this is what it collected from a house that's basically clean. It looks like these filters are kind of hard to get everything off of. Um, but as you can see there, it got a lot of stuff from a house that was already vacuumed a lot. So very good. <clears throat> it got everywhere, like I said. If I had to review this after my initial try, finished my whole house without recharging, which was great. I wanted it to be able to do that. It definitely picks up a lot of dust and anything on the ground as you see all these little pebbly things from my dog and cat bringing them in really does a great job it went over a couple spots more than once it got stuck nowhere um, it doesn't go under my couch in my main room please put my dirt bin back in it says <laughs> um, it doesn't go under the couch in my main main room but it got everywhere else and my Roomba goes under there my Roomba and this neither one of them gets stuck anywhere in my house so that's good that neither of them got stuck anywhere and uh, if this one had got stuck that would have sucked because my Roomba doesn't so overall a really great thing I'll do more videos in the future comparing it to my Roomba once I use it for longer but I'm pretty impressed does a great job nice addition to uh, my robot family so see you guys all later happy roboting